Hey guys, I hope you're good. Bear with me with this intro. Like, I am in a hotel room and the setup is doing what it can, but let's just say, like, the lighting in here is not it. Um, but yeah, welcome to another video. We are going to be touring Europe. We're going to be touring Europa together. Um, day one, I woke up today in Copenhagen, Denmark and we are going to go out explore the city there's like no plan for today so just come along with me let's see what we can do what we can explore and if you are new here i forgot to introduce myself sorry my name is timmy if you're old here i hope you are well sending you love and if you have not yet subscribed what are you even doing hit the subscribe button right now and join our amazing family here on YouTube. Okay, gang. Gang, gang. Okay, first things first. I don't know. <laughs> Tosun, what are we doing today? Lunch? Food? Yeah, lunch. Okay, uh, let me grab the time. Okay, guys, it is 1.50 p.m. here in Copenhagen. And we have not eaten yet. So I need a coffee. I need food. I need, like, vegetables and carbs. So let's get me running on some energy. Let's get some food. I will show you guys my outfit for the day. But this has been like my life. Just living out of suitcases the last month. Um, let me show you my outfit. The makeup today is like almost all Laura Mercier. The lighting in here is super orange. But I just love it. was like a really quick like 10 minute makeup. so cold. I don't know. The train is the train. <laughs> I told you it was the train. Guys, we're not showing you anything right now. Like, welcome to Copenhagen. Oh, I thought it was a river. <laughs> it's a train. This is not interesting or fun. Okay, so let's get in a taxi and we'll Do tell them to take us to... We'll tell them to take us to that place. The, um, the place that has... Uh, that bar. Okay, but I need a coat. Let's go get a coat. Okay, okay. do you have a coat? <sighs> Cold. <laughs> we are back in the room. I have added my hoodie. 
to the equation. I think I got really, really cocky. I can't even speak. I'm that cold. I think I got really cocky um, since Iceland where I thought, okay, it's not minus two degrees. So I don't need to wear like an actual coat. So I only have one jacket and it's not even that warm. So I'm going to do like layers instead. We want to show you guys something because... I could just be in my hotel all day, like, on my laptop, working, whatever, but, like, all we've shown you is lunch. Lunch was so good, by the way. The gnocchi was just, like, amazing. Um, but, like, I want to show you one thing that's not food-related in Copenhagen, right? Because the other thing we have today is, like, a michelin star dinner. But, again, like, m my content cannot only be about food. We need to mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna put my layers on and let's find something interesting to show you guys. Okay. At least let me show you guys the view from our hotel room, balcony. This place is called Tivoli, but it's closed tonight. That's what we wanted to show you. Maybe I should start vlogging. Watch you so that you don't fall. Oh wow, look at the boats. What do you think about boats? I think boats are romantic. They're very romantic. You see, we should have had dinner on the boat. Yeah, if you, if you want to ask me to marry you, you should say it on a boat. I should propose to you on a boat? Yeah, propose to me on a boat. What if I go down on one knee right now? <laughs> no, I'll say no. <laughs> I'll say nope. I, just I think we should do that. The reverse proposal. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the one to. It will actually trend. If I'm actually the one to say. It'll trend forever. I, I said yes. It'll trend. Imagine there's a ring on your finger. <laughs> yeah. I think that I'll, I'll say. Like, I said yes. <laughs> Yo, it's not that cold. It's not that cold yet. No. Just because I wasn't wearing a coat. Yeah. She was a good salesperson, wasn't she? Yeah, she was a very like, good salesperson. We were not looking to get have a drink, yeah. and she drew me right in. <laughs> Next thing we're drinking. Next thing we're drinking. Oh, Danish cookies. Actual Danish cookies. <laughs> all they know is food here. Yep. Waffles. <laughs> Waffles on a stick. You want to try it? <laughs> no, I'm full. <like> this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot that you have. I can't eat anything again. Maybe you should do a thing where you go to a country Just and all you do is eat different hours. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I can see me eat for 25, 25, I said 25, 24 hours. I can't, I don't even want to eat for 24 hours, sorry. 
That could um, be something you do in Lagos. Go to yeah, like an eating day. Lagos of, and I have Lagos soon, guys. Should I do a, a day of food in Lagos? What do you think? So this is just the main square. It's like the iconic place. It's like, and there you have all the bougie hotels. You see, that's that hotel, the most popular one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to refresh my face before we go to dinner. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you how I go from daytime makeup to nighttime makeup, especially for all you oily skin girls. This is how I just like refresh my base a little bit. So I'm going to just change out of these jeans into like my black velvet skirt um, from Realization Par. I will put my shoes and bag together. Then we're gonna head for dinner at Kin 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 Kin. I don't know how you say it, um, but it's meant to be like this Asian um, set menu place. Super fancy, super nice. Has a Michelin star, it's on the Michelin star guide. So I think it's gonna be a really nice dinner and we are going with um, Tosin's friends slash business partner. Um, so I will film what I can. And when I say Tosin, yes, I mean my boyfriend. <laughs> For context. Um, yeah, and it's been really nice to be in Copenhagen. That's actually why we've been in Copenhagen. Tosin's here for some meetings and then tomorrow Paris um, for him to meet other people. And then Madrid because he has his shows. I've just been coming along, which is so nice. And like, what's great with the like influencer work I do, I can do that from basically anywhere. So I can, I'm just able to go along with him as long as I have my phone, my laptop, my diary. Like the world's my office, the plane is my office, the hotel room is my office. So yeah, now you know why I'm here. Let me get ready for dinner. Am I running late? Yes, I am. Dinner starts in five minutes. Love that for me. <laughs> Tell me you're Nigerian without telling me you're Nigerian. Okay, I love how I'm so I'm sitting here so relaxed and then about to start eating. Okay, let's go, let's get changed. I'll see you guys in a second.
trying to finesse it. Like what time? 6 a.m. Yeah. yeah. I know. Uh... I'm not with you. You're not with you? No. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> Suitcase, you don't need a final check. All you need, you need is a the final, final check. check. Get it? If you don't get it, you can't get it. Hi, beautiful people. Okay, Copenhagen to Paris. We are now in Paris, the city of love, the city of lights. And I'm going to be spending one full day here before we go to Madrid tomorrow. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's get ourselves out of this hotel room. We're staying at the beautiful Alfred Sommier Hotel here in Paris. Um, as you can see, it's like gorgeous. Kind of like quintessential Parisian style hotel room, which is very different to the usual hotels I stay in. So I'm really, really happy to be here. And let's get our bags and shoes on and let's go. There is no time to waste. So let's be très vite. And yes, I'll be throwing in some French here and there because we are in Paris. It's only right. This look today is very cute. If I say so myself, I'm wearing my Junior Watanabe boots. Junior Watanabe on <laughs> Yes, I'm wearing Junior before Kanye name dropped. So my Junior boots, I have some Walford tights. And then I think my turtleneck underneath here is Uniqlo, just like a very basic turtleneck dress. And then this gorgeous Celine coat from the Phoebe Philo Celine. So i um, got a vintage Celine going on, courtesy of Nana Otedola. So thank you for this hand-me-down mama. And let me show you the full look. Oh, before I forget, we have the most gorge, like papillon style Louis Vuitton bag right here. So let me show you guys the full look. I don't have a full length mirror in this room, um, but this gives you an idea of the look. Very cute. And you might be wondering, what is Tammy doing in Paris? Um, I have a surprise that I might be able to film later on, but I think we are going to the PSG stadium here. So if I have any football studies, then this is your vlog. On you there. Okay. Yeah, this is like the these are the best seats. 
So this is obviously like the VIP box, right? Yeah. VIP box, so. Okay, we just finished our private tour of PSG Stadium. It was amazing. Um, I, I think I'm becoming a football fan, guys. Should I support PSG? Anyway, we're gonna head now to lunch. We have not eaten, and it is classic us. We haven't eaten today, and it's 3.40 p.m., so we need to go find some food. And then we're gonna walk around, look at some shops, that kind of thing, just be tourists for the rest of the day. So let's go eat. I'm so hungry, like I'm 10% from being hangry at this point. Just got back to the room. As you saw, we did, well, I didn't do, but Tosin did some shopping. But yeah, so we did a bit of shopping, which was nice, at Galerie's Lafayette. So no haul from me today. All I got was one jumper. You see, I'm like a very sensible shopper, unlike some people. Back in the hotel room, he has gone to meet someone. We don't have dinner until nine. So I have two hours to kind of unwind a little bit and pack, because we leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow for Madrid. It never ends. It really never ends. Okay, so I'm gonna rest and I will see you guys right before dinner. I'm not even gonna change. I might just change my boots to something more dinner. But <laughs> I'm just ready to pack, eat, sleep, and be off to the next place. Two hours later. I really said I was not gonna change and I changed. Guess what? All black fit. Got my vintage Chanel jacket. Cardi. These pants are so cool, you cannot see anything, but I promise you the fit is working. And then I'm just gonna put this over and this again. But look, she did a rare red lipstick. Let's go eat final dinner in Paris. Got my crap, so I'm a happy girl. I'm gonna walk back to the hotel and enjoy Paris at night. Okay, the crap, I can't lie, it was not it. I had like two bites, but at least we have this beautiful walk back to our hotel. And yeah, Paris is beautiful. Like, you can just walk through here and just enjoy every single street. Bisou, bisou, bisou.
Hi vlog. I left you for two days. By Madrid. We are going to London and I will explain all back home. Your girl needs to get out of this city. Sorry, I did not get to show you. Madrid. Beautiful Madrid. guys <laughs> okay time to talk and end this vlog i last spoke to you going from paris to madrid that paris night we had fun we had dinner we had vibes and this is where the vlog just went haywire this is the story time segment of this video and let's get into it so what had happened was we have our nice dinner in paris Beautiful, lovely dinner, money high. We're leaving for Madrid the next day. Our trip is going amazing, fantastic, beautiful, superb, fantastic. Everything it should be, okay? So we get back to our hotel. The one I had previously been saying was amazing, beautiful, fantastic. My boyfriend is walking in front of me. He walks ahead. I'm slightly behind him, walking back into the hotel. I'm taking like a few videos, selfies, like just final content before I walk in. And I walk into the lobby and suddenly I see that him and like someone who works at the hotel, like I guess a night receptionist, they're like, they're actually fighting. And the guy is screaming at my boyfriend, what room are you staying in? What room are you staying in? What room are you staying in? And I'm like, wait, what's going on? My boyfriend walking to his room, as is his right, a room that he has paid for, I'm not giving him my hotel room number, like, I'm walking to my hotel room. And the guy is like, fine, I'm going to call the police, I'm going to call the police, I'm going to call the police. So I woke up to this guy, I'm like, what's going on? He's like, what room are you staying in? I said, no, I'm not telling you what room I'm, room I'm staying in. I'm going to go to the room that we have reserved, he has paid for. And I'm just in shock. He's now shouting at me, okay, fine, I'm going to call the police on you. So I go up to the room, because I am I am now scared. I'm in a foreign country. I kind of speak the language, but like, I'm just like, now the... The French police are about to storm into my hotel room because I walked in at 12.30 a.m. Because I walked in at midnight, the, the police are now being called on me. When I say it was the most insane and like blatant... I mean, racism happens every day. Like, these types of things happen every day. But in my 15 years staying in Paris hotels, in my years, no, this is not to flex, this is just to say this is ridiculous. In my years staying in the five star hotel, four, four star hotel, three star hotel, this has never happened. Like, you cannot say that this guy was not just profiling us and wanted to make us sleep on the streets for no reason. It was insane. Because he decided that, okay, these black people are coming in at midnight and staying in this nice five star hotel, I need to try and just turn the night to total. So we are in the room, furious, upset, like, imagine me, I'm just there like, how did this even escalate to me walking back in? Like, we've been staying in hotels the last month and nothing like this has ever happened. They will now argue that they had a right to ask us which room we're staying in. That, again, in my years of staying in five-star, four-star, three-star hotels has never happened. I've never walked into a hotel room, into a hotel, sorry, into a hotel lobby and been asked to prove I'm staying in that hotel. That is ridiculous, like totally ridiculous. I'm going to say the hotel name because why am I protecting them? It's Hotel Alfred Sommier in Paris. I, and I'm so upset because I spent probably, I can't even remember now, but I probably spent a, a, a big portion of this vlog showing you guys the hotel room, saying why well, Paris is beautiful, like excited. And then basically our entire trip is just ruined on our last night by sleeping in bed and like at every moment thinking that the, ho that the police is going to charge into this room and kick us out and arrest us. Like we don't even feel safe. My boyfriend has to call like an embassy security from close by to, to, to sit outside the hotel in case something happens. Like we felt so unsafe. Fine, we have like four hours to sleep before our flight to Madrid. So in the morning, we pack up our bags, we go downstairs. Guess who is still on his shift? That's receptionist. Sorry, my camera turned off. In the meantime, my boyfriend had already emailed a complaint to the hotel about what had happened. 
guess who replies the email without seeing anyone else involved? The receptionist. He said, I am not racist because I am Arabic. So we walked down the next morning. He is still on duty. Luckily, the woman who had the very lovely receptionist who had checked us in is also there. So she is obviously thinking, these lovely people I checked in, why are they so upset, so angry? We're waiting for him to basically apologize because the entire thing is not, when I say the thing is nonsensical, imagine walking into a hotel and being within 60 seconds, you're now having the police called on you for a hotel room you paid for. The guy is looking stupid, right? He has to now check us out of our room after he claimed that the police were coming upstairs right now to kick us out. He's checking us out of our room. I am waiting for him to apologize to my boyfriend. Not to me, because I felt like he was way more disres disrespectful to my boyfriend for no reason. And maybe if we had walked in together, it wouldn't have happened. But because he was a single black man wearing... I don't know, like, it's just totally, completely ridiculous, right? So... He's checked us out. We said we need our bags to be get carried to our taxi. Great, great, great. And then I'm like, this guy just wants us to walk out. So I'm like, are you going to apologize to him? He just looks at me. No apology. Nothing. And then again, we all start fighting. Like, again, he doesn't apologize. He says that, oh, he's Arabic. He's Arabic. I, I don't know. Whatever. The other receptionist inter intercepts and she's like, I'm so sorry. Imagine she's apologizing on behalf of, behalf of her colleague. She's so sorry that she'll take my name, everything, that the hotel owner will get in touch. Um, so I give her my details. Like I'm so emotional because I just feel so... It's like such a disrespect, disrespectful thing to happen to you. Um, it just shows you like we always have all these movements and blah, blah, blah. And it's crazy for me because I'm like me. This is not even my country. But imagine you're having to live in France or live in the UK full time. So I gave her my details, we leave the hotel, like, I'm literally crying because I feel so upset by the whole thing. The fact that this guy was looking us in the eye and he still couldn't apologize, like, it was so disgusting. So yeah, that's why I'm calling out the hotel, um, because I cannot imagine giving them any customers based on my pictures. I took some beautiful photos there, no thanks to them, and I refuse, um, to support any establishment like that, so yes. So anyway, that kind of just set us all off on just being like, just having such a long, tiring day. Now we flew to Madrid, we got to our Madrid hotel, we ended up not liking it, so we moved to a hotel. I had a great time in Madrid though. So I like to keep things on a positive, on a high. I had to call them out in this video because I cannot show Paris in that hotel room without being upset about the whole thing. Like looking back, it just seems so silly. It seems silly, like well, how can you even let these people upset you? But when you're there in the moment and you're like, imagine treating another human being like this based on what? Like based on just like you're a deeply racist person or you're on your power trip or um, you feel like people who are African or black shouldn't be staying in such a nice place. Like, it just blows my mind. That's my story time. Madrid was really nice. It was beautiful. I want to go back to Madrid, actually. And um, we had a good time. It was basically turn up, turn up, because um, Tosin was performing. So we had a really, really fun club night. And then I just got back to London. And I haven't slept in days. And I hope I'm not getting sick. And I'm now packing for another trip, which I'm not going to tell you guys about yet, but you will see. I'm going home, baby. So I can't believe I'm going to add this rant to my vlog, but whatever. We're sharing. I'm sharing it with you guys because it just shows how my whole trip just went into Pablava and Wahala. No, like, no, no, not by my own doing, just by walking into a hotel, I guess. So anyway, love you guys lots. Thank you for watching. I hope I have not transferred too much negative energy onto you. Giving out all the positive vibes. Just a reminder that we should all be better people to everyone. <laughs> and if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now for more drama, more wahala. I'm joking, never again. This is my one time and only time exposing an establishment. But Alfred Somier, I'm looking at you guys. Do better. Okay. All right. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching again. And I will see you. Me and Teddy. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.